Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another Rev review. This is a channel where I take a few minutes and tell you about products I've either ridden myself or I'm about to ride or test myself and then I give you my opinion on them. Uh, we also cover maintenance items and regular tune-ups or maybe you know something where um, I'm doing a, a replacement component for one of my customers. So let's, uh, before we get going, if you would please subscribe, like and subscribe to the channel. We are slowly, slowly building it. And I kind of like that, that it's not, you know, with these spikes and, and then nothing. So we're slowly building this channel and I'd like to be able to spend a lot more time providing content for you. So please like and subscribe. And of course, hit that notification bell. Okay, so let's talk about um, the topic of today, which is, um, I've had some people ask me about this saddle, and this is the 612R from SQ Lab. Now, there's been this movement to, I don't know, remove front derailleurs. Uh, bigger cassettes in the back, all kinds of these things. And one of them is also shorter nose saddles. I think Specialized is doing a lot with these uh, shorter nose saddles. And so SQ Lab um, is doing that now as well. Now I've had this saddle for quite some time and the the reason I'm doing the review now is because someone made a comment on one of my other SQ Lab saddle reviews. Now, uh, personally, I am not really a fan of these shorter saddles. But, you know, um, if you're a weight weenie, you might be, it might be of interest to you. So we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. But this is a standard 612 saddle. This being the S, uh, sorry, the R version, 612R. This is a 612 standard, not the R version. You can see it's much longer. Once you, once you have them side by side, you get to see that. And the, um, the nose is much narrower on the 612R. You can see that here. And by the way, this is a 14 centimeter saddle which is the largest one they make or provide and then this is a 13 because all the 14s are either on my bikes or sold so i have a 13 sitting here so this is actually a narrower saddle based on the measurements of it but it almost looks bigger than the 14 so once again this is a 13 this is a 14. now you could see this section here is much longer, right? Before this starts to flare out. And this, this already starts to flare out about here and goes that way. Now, these saddles, they have been, if, if you haven't been watching my channel prior to today, I'm a big fan of SQ Lab products because the three touch points, the saddle and bib shorts, the handlebar, handlebar tape and grips, mountain bike handlebars as well, and the insoles, those three touch points on the bike, I almost exclusively use SQ Lab with my bike fit clients and even myself. So this is a very interesting uh, comparison for people who like short nose saddles and SQ Lab in my opinion is a very very comfortable saddle but in my case I I like to slide around on my saddle so for me the short nose saddle doesn't make a lot of sense but I do have it on my race bike and I um, I get used to it over time one of the things that I didn't like so much about it, and that's just a personal opinion, is if you look closely, this material 
is different. And this is a little bit grippier. And so as I, as I just mentioned, I like to slide around up and back on my saddle. So this is grippier and it, it just doesn't lend itself to sliding as much. Now, of course, that's probably part of the design because it's a short nose saddle. So you have to pretty much stay in one place and they don't want you sliding around on the saddle. So um, that's something to consider as well. If you are one of these people that is really a weight weenie, um, this saddle here in the 614, uh, I'm sorry, in the 612, but 14 centimeter length, um, you know, they claim weights of about 125. And here you can see, I think 131 grams. So this is a very, very, very light uh, saddle. So let's, let's, uh, oopsie, let's recap just so you get an idea what's going on here. So we have a saddle that is shorter. We have a saddle that is narrower and we have a saddle that is lighter. This back part is raised. So if you're sitting here and you, you want some type of backstop, if you will, for your butt to be sliding off the saddle, you've got this kind of ramping going on here to hold you there. The saddle is also given a little bit of flex and it'll be hard to show you that but um yeah maybe you could see it there a little bit so it does flex out a little bit on the wings so that should provide a little bit of comfort for you um the they consider this um the same type of hardness and the same relief area percentage wise for both of these saddles. Although visually this looks like this is a, a bigger depression here, but they on the saddles, um, if I were to compare the 612 to the 612R, they show that this perineal relief is 63%. So the same on both saddles. All right. So as I mentioned, I have these on my bikes. And so if we take a look here, this is my race bike with the 612R. This is the, um, well, I could race this one too, but I, I try to put most of the higher end stuff on this bike and my other bikes, I, I train a lot with them. So um, sometimes you can't afford to put the highest end stuff on all of your bikes. So that's a 612R, that's the standard 612. And the where you put it on the rails might also make a difference as well to get your, your fit right. But, um, you know, you get used to whatever you have. And if you got a good bike fit, you will end up very comfortable and very powerful on your saddles. So that's all I have for today. I think if you are someone who's looking for a, a different position on your bike, you don't move around as much on your bike, you're looking for something light, and you, you are very interested in just something that's a little bit shorter. I mean, the numbers are, I think, about 20 millimeters shorter, uh, 252 and 270, so 252 to 275. So you know, something thereabouts, 23 millimeters shorter. But uh, for someone, that might be exactly what they're looking for. I like it. I don't know that I would put it on all my bikes, but I do like the saddle. It's worked well for me. Uh, the SQ Lab concept works well for me. So between these two bikes, it wouldn't matter which bike I would go out to do 200 miles on. But um, for whatever reason, I just have it on one bike and I have on my other bikes, I have the longer saddle. And like I said, I just like to move around a lot on my saddle. It's, I, I remember going to the specialized fitting school and, um, it was about a week long and we were going through all these different saddles and they put me on a saddle and they said, Oh, well, this is the saddle where you're going to sit here and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want a saddle where I'm I have to sit in one place only. 
And as I was doing their demo fit for the saddle, I kept moving around. And I just said, I want that option to be able to move around and still be comfortable no matter where I move on the saddle. And, uh, you know, Physique has different saddles too. So they have like a saddle, Aliante, where they want you to sit in one spot. And then you have the Arione where you can move anywhere on the saddle. So I'm more of that rider, the one that likes to be able to move around on my saddle. Um, I see a lot of these short nose saddles coming through for a lot of my customers that I do repairs on their bikes and they're happy with them. And so you have to decide which one are you. So anyway, that's all for today. I appreciate your time and your attention. Please like and subscribe and we will see you up the road.